Welcome back everyone to our channel. So, while everybody's been talking about the latest from ChatGPT, I've been digging into some pretty wild leaked reports about Elon Musk's next big move, Grok 4.2. And honestly, what's in these documents is, well, it's pretty shocking. I mean, we are talking about a massive leap forward. The reports are filled with claims just like this one, hinting at a technology that could totally flip the entire AI world on its head. Okay, let's get right into it and see what all the fuss is about. But before we get to all the crazy new specs, we kind of have to understand where Grok is right now. The last big update, Grok 4.1, which came out in November of 2025, was really all about one thing, making it trustworthy. Yeah, the key number here is the hallucination rate. That's just a fancy way of saying when an AI completely makes stuff up. It dropped from a pretty high 12% all the way down to just 4%. To put that in perspective, it went from being wrong about once every eight times you asked it something to only once every 25. For you, that just means way less time fact-checking and more time actually using the info you get. And that foundation of trust is absolutely crucial for what's coming next. Okay, so with that reliable base in place, let's get into the leaked specs for Grok 4.2. This is where things get, well, kind of insane. Let's talk about something called the context window. Think of it like the AI's short-term memory. A major competitor, like GBT5, it sits at around 256,000 tokens. And then GPT 4.1 quadrupled that, which was a huge deal, up to a million tokens. But now, Grok 4.2 is rumored to double that, to a staggering 2 million. Look, this isn't just a small upgrade. This puts Grok in a completely different ballpark. So what does 2 million tokens actually mean for you? Well, imagine dropping an entire 400-page book into the AI and asking it to analyze everything, every character, every plot point, all in one go. Or what if you could feed it years of your company's financial reports and have it spot patterns a human might take weeks to find? That's the level of power we're talking about here. But that incredible memory also powers a whole new level of thinking. The leaks show Grok 4.2 getting top-tier results in complex games like Diplomacy. Now, this isn't just about strategy. This game is a brutal test of social skills, negotiation, and literally predicting what other humans are going to do. It shows a whole new level of strategic thinking. And for any developers watching, you're going to love this. The feedback from early testers is just amazing. They're calling it a 10 out of 10 coding tutor, and some have even built working web apps in less than a minute. A few benchmarks even hint that it's slightly better than GPT-5 on certain real-world coding tasks. Okay, specs are one thing, but let's cut through the tech talk for a second. How are these upgrades actually going to change things for you, day to day? Well, it really boils down to four big things. First, real-time knowledge. Grok is plugged directly into X, so you can ask it about news that broke five minutes ago and get a current answer. Second, it's like having a coding mentor on call 24-7 that doesn't just fix your bugs, but actually teaches you. Third, that superhuman memory means it can stick with you on huge, complex projects. And fourth, it's just smarter at conversation. With better emotional intelligence, it gets the nuance behind what you're asking, leading to way more helpful answers. So, that brings us to the big question. Is Grok 4.2 actually better than GPT-5? Well, it's not really that simple. They're both incredibly powerful, but you could say they're playing different games. Think of it like this. Grok is kind of the rebel, right? It's famous for being witty, a bit sassy, and having a real personality. On the flip side, you have GPT-5, which is more like the ultimate professional assistant. It's designed to be super reliable, safe, and just execute complex tasks for you step by step. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just about what you prefer. And we can break that down even more. Grok's single biggest advantage is its real-time access to info from X. So for anything time-sensitive, like news or market trends, it's got a huge leg up. GPT-5, on the other hand, is probably going to be your go-to for really deep, multi-step problem solving and complex project planning. So you're not really picking a winner, you're just picking the right tool for the job. All right, so this all sounds fantastic, but when can you actually get your hands on it? Well, if we look at the patterns, we can make a pretty good guess. So XAI has been moving at lightning speed. If you look at their release history, they've been dropping a new major version every four to six months, almost like clockwork. If they keep up that pace, and we all know Elon Musk likes to move fast, we're probably looking at a release sometime in late 2025 or at the latest, early 2026. 
Let's just zoom out for a moment, because what we're really watching here is a full-blown AI race happening in real time. And that has some pretty huge implications for all of us. What all this really points to is a fundamental change in what AI is. We're moving away from these simple tools that just answer one-off questions. With the kind of memory and reasoning we're seeing in Grok 4.2, AI is becoming a true collaborator, something that can work alongside you on a big project for weeks and remember all the context the entire time. And you know what? This intense competition between Grok and GPT, it's amazing for us. It forces innovation to happen so much faster. Every time one company makes a breakthrough, the other one has to scramble to catch up and push things even further. That cycle means we all get more powerful and more accessible tools, way quicker than we would otherwise. We all end up winning. So as these AIs evolve from just assistants into genuine collaborators, the choice becomes a lot more personal. It's not just about which one is smarter anymore, but which one actually fits your style and the way you work. Are you going to go for the witty, real-time power of Grok or the professional step-by-step -step approach of GPT? Let us know down in the comments which team you're on. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Nexalith AI so you don't miss out on what's next. Thanks for watching.